continuing to follow the story in Savannah of a family still holding out hope that their one year old son will be found. Quentin Simon disappeared from his Savannah home nearly 24 hours ago or more than 24 hours ago now. And this morning the search continues. Sarah Winkleman is joining us live near the home on Buckhalter Road with what we know so far, Sarah. Good morning, Kyle. Well, we are still waiting to hear from Chatham County Police exactly what their plan is for the day ahead. We uh, there there's no officers out here at this time. The tape has been taken off around that home and just a little while ago. Actually, the homeowners have arrived. They're actually Quentin's grandparents, so they own this house. They were gone yesterday. They drove all night, have been able to get back, but say they're still waiting to hear from police if they can go back inside and what is next for them in this process. So right now, take a look. I want to show you the picture of what Quentin looks like this is Quentin Simon right here and he was last seen wearing a light blue Sesame Street shirt and black pants when he disappeared from his home on Buckwalter Road yesterday morning. Police are asking if you do see him to call a 911 and while there were many experts out here on the scene yesterday like the sheriff's office, the FBI, the bloodhounds, there were also a lot of concerned neighbors. People from up and down the street came to help search for Quentin and even people from outlying communities came to help. One of those people, though, that was a part of the search, a neighbor that lives just down the road, and she says she's been babysitting Quentin for several months, and this is not the first time that he has been out of the house unsupervised. He has been out before, um, so that's why yesterday I thought for sure when they had texted me and got in touch with me that he would show up somewhere around here. I never knew that the search would last this long. My gut tells me something's very wrong, but my heart in we're praying, hoping God will intervene and he's OK. And more and more of those neighbors are starting to come out this morning, just kind of waiting for some information to see what is happening. They all said they did not sleep well last night, just unsure where Quentin is and hoping that he returns home safely. Those grandparents, especially once they arrived this morning, a very emotional day out here. So we'll keep you updated as soon as we get some more information. So be sure to stick with us on air and online with this developing story. Live in Savannah, Sarah Winkleman, WTOC News.